you are welcome to my youtube channel so we're gonna make in this crop top easy and quick so all you need right now it's your bust circumference that way i'm gonna be using for the bust and the waist but you're gonna be adding one inch to it that is bust circumference divided by four plus one inch for ease allowance so then have an inch for your sewing allowance cut that all around your desired length i actually i made mine 17 inches just to make it a little lower so right now i'm cutting the front pattern i'm adding two inch as you can see to the front pattern because i'm gonna be using it for a casing for the strap so here we go the front is ready the back is ready but we need to cut out the neck all yeah here we go here we go so right here i'm trying to arrange my fabric to leave very well it has to be you know to be perfect on each other so as to get the correct neck hole so you don't have your neck your back neck looking wider than your front so i'm using four inch by three for the front four inch by 1.5 for the back i'm not going to be using bias to you know to take it in i'm going to be folding the fabric and using a zigzag stitch to turn the deck so yeah yeah placing my curve and make sure your curve is placed properly and you cut cut your desired neck hole you could make your neck hole lower wider depends if you're using a, a very soft fabric you want to be careful with your neck hole so you don't end up getting too wide but if you want your your top to be more bouncy i want not mind to be a little bit harder like standing so i use a thicker fabric you could use a soft fabric depending on what you want so we'll be cutting the sleeve here so i cut out my basic sleeve short sleeve make it very short now the strap this would be for the strap so here we go the front is ready back is ready sleeve is ready strap is ready join it join it I uh, fold your casing my casing only was a little bit big so I had to cut out half an inch so if you're cutting yours you should probably use like 1.5 inch instead of 2 inch so cut it out and fold it press it down yeah and fold the, the down part yeah, so I had to loosen it up a little to fold my down part. Fold it and press down your casing. So that's that. And what you want to do here is to fold in your um, strap and put it in your casing. But I didn't do mine that way. I ended up closing everything before I put it. But I would advise you to put in your strap for joining everything so here we go we join everything the shoulder the back and fold the neck all yeah we're almost done with that top so that's that so the sleeve is on i told you i don't put my strap before closing everything so here am i adding my strap so put in your strap and the top is ready yeah, make your ruffles in the front, make it on the front, and yeah, ready to be one. Yay! So, you could do anything you want on your top, you could tie it anyhow you want. You could also make it a little bit fancy by using pearls or so to design your top, it depends on what you want. So, thank you, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, if you learned something, I'll love it for you. Right